Hello from Tucson. I took a couple days off to, I don't know, edit, relax. But we're going to get some information. This is Lauren. And Lauren bought all of her Christmas presents for, how much are, are they worth? Uh, about $175. And what did you pay? $14. Okay, so what's the trick? <laughs> so on Black Friday, all the toys were 50% off. And throughout the year when I shop at Walgreens, I just save my balance rewards points. And cash them in at Christmas, so it was like $70 in rewards, so I ended up paying 14 for all this. That's awesome. And um, are you posting about this stuff on your Facebook page? Yes. Okay, and what is it? <laughs> um, Facebook.com backslash murder me lovely. Murder me lovely. <laughs> I'll put the link in the years. description. <laughs> um, I think Lauren should start a YouTube channel or a blog or something about how she gets all these goodies for next to nothing. <laughs> Maybe. Well, all good things come to an end, and I need to say goodbye to a very special person who, it's hard to say you aren't married to Dan anymore, but Dan the Adventure Bus, his wife, I don't want to say widow, is a very lovely person and has included me into the family like one of her own. Yes. So, I just want to say thank you. Yes, we love you and we want you back anytime. Yes. <sighs> I always get a little uh, work, worked up when I think about. Dan the man. Alright, so today we are headed to do uh, a video with uh, another channel. They do RV stuff. They hit me up on Instagram. And, uh,. We need to stop by the store because we were headed to Texas to pick somebody up out there and cruise around for a little bit and head further east finally. I know you guys have been asking me to come east, so if you guys are in Florida through Louisiana in the south, I'm coming your way, I think. I just met up with Chris from Chris and G Travels. Yes. Um, RRV. We did, so we did an interview on mine, and I kind of feel bad. I apologize. I'm not going to spend the same amount of time on your <laughs> rig as you did on mine. Oh, dude, your bus is beautiful. Thank you. So we're selling this guy. If you want an RV, we're selling this one. All right, um, what is it? It's a 2008 Monaco Monarch. Okay. So we built this essentially to be off the grid. So we have solar, uh, lots of uh, water preservation gear in there, but we bought a 40-foot school bus. We're going to convert that into a boondocking rig. So... 200, 300 gallons of fresh water is the goal. 1,000 watt solar, 300, or 1,000 watt amp hour battery Sick. is the ultimate goal. So, and and how much do you want to sell this thing for? In case anybody is in the market, perhaps even my uncle Larry. We were, we were just talking the other day. Hey, if if somebody comes with uh, 40 to 45, wow, I bought it for 55. Holy crap! And have about 10,000 into it. So, wow, that's um. Man, that is no joke. I had no idea these things were so expensive. That's crazy, oh, but yeah. it is very nice though. Um, yeah. very... Well, once once you start looking at these school buses, like how well this is built compared to how that's built, those are built just to get them through the assembly line. They get them out in the in the market. We're trying to sell them on your our RV, not the school buses. Well, <laughs> anybody's watching your channel, they know how much better that is already. Yeah. So that's but, funny. Um, but they, they essentially just get them out in the market and then they fix them afterwards. Yeah. So you have the factory fix whenever you buy these things brand new. We didn't buy it brand new. But I have friends who have bought brand new RVs and they sit in the shop for two or three months afterwards, getting everything fixed. That's crazy. Because they just get them out. And... and let's briefly touch on your channel. If anyone hasn't already seen you, um, what kind of stuff are you doing on your channel? So we, the last five years, we've been doing the trip from Tucson, Arizona up to Alaska. So we just work up there during the summer. Then we do the vlogs, do social media marketing, do that whole online work, just trying to be digital nomads as much as possible. But more recently, we're switching over to converting a school bus, right? Actually, tonight I'll be editing the trip from Florida where I bought the bus up to Colorado where Sick. we did a roof raise and then down to here. Then we're going to do the whole build on YouTube. Wait, can you, can you raise the roof real quick? Here it is. <laughs> raise, the roof, raise the roof 22 inches. I thought it was going to be this simple, not simple, but I had no idea how much work was going to go into Yeah, that. they really and do. They really do. It was, it's, it's such a great mod. So Yeah. Um, and by the way, I need to get out of here before Chris goes over to the Wells Fargo because he was offering me gas money at, for a collab. And I said, absolutely not. That's not how it works. <laughs> I've had many awesome oh, people help me out we're, we're gonna go for free. To the, okay, so no, no. This, this is what I'm trying to convince him of. 
when you know when we travel, we meet people that do need that gas money. And right now, I have so much karma that I need to pay back people that help me on the road. And you too. No, you so already you, did. You, you did a video of me. We, I gotta so, go. Guys, let's hit the road. Let's get out of here. We won't even see the inside of this guy's rig because he's trying to give me money and I don't want it. Dude. Although I do need it, but... Hey, you know, it, you, you well, know you I'll, I'll, I'll do a Patreon like you guys are asking me for. So <laughs> you totally should. Yeah, let's do let's do a quick little run okay. through the inside. And it's very messy right now because we just got back from a camping trip. Um, so I got back from picking up the bus or getting the bus back to AZ the day before yesterday. I had enough time to get the bus ready to start working on it again. Then we put all our stuff in here to go on our anniversary camping trip. So. It's a little messy, but this is the uh, the Class A. Class A. Uh, and it looks like uh, you guys do have a dog. We do have a dog. You can probably see it on my uh, <laughs> not so much my shirt, the couch, everywhere. So cool. This is a full body slide. This is the one thing I'm going to miss from from this rig to the bus. So from here, all the way back to that bed. This whole thing just slides out. This thing is to, huge. It is. So you got the BLM land, you got the public land. We have 60 gallons of fresh water. We have all these containers here for our drinking water. So we're able to go out to BLM land for a week, week and a half at most, because we hike, we run trails every day. Like we're always nice. out sweating. So, and I hate going to bed sweaty. That's yeah. The oh, thing. that's why I put on a few pounds. <laughs> right. I was going because I, I didn't want to go to bed sweaty. Yeah. 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 So it was uh, it's one of those things where we can set this up, be out in the middle of nowhere, and then just be able to camp for free. So this last 2017, we stayed at three, now four RV parks because for our anniversary trip, we went to this boondocking spot that was down by Mexico. There was a sign that said illegal immigration and smuggling in the area. So wow. G didn't feel too comfortable doing that. I, I thought we'd be fine, whatever, but Man, we, that, we didn't stay there. But that, Yeah, you could have passed out water or... Um, right. You know... Right, exactly. Or you could have been held up or maybe even bought directly from the source. Or maybe somebody would have just stole the RV from us and we wouldn't have to sell it. Boom, there you go. As long as I get my, my uh, hard drives. There you go. Uh, very nice hanging with you. Hey, it was we need to go over a to... A pleasure. No, we're not going there. We're not going to the bank. <laughs> Guys, I got to go. I hope to see Chris on the road and meet G. Um, but yeah, you're rad. Next, next time we meet, man, hopefully the bus will be at least halfway livable. <laughs> and what I can do... Instead of giving you cash, we will uh, we'll cook some, some good food. We'll I will take you up on that. And give you I, some beers. I need a good steak, steak dinner. Hey, <laughs> deal. All right, so, man. Sounds good. <laughs> I escaped without Chris trying to give me money. So that was a very nice offer, by the way. But uh, it's hard for me sometimes to accept money from people. And also, we're doing a collab. So I feel like this is a mutually beneficial arrangement here. Otherwise, I'd be owing... So many people, so much, so much money. <laughs> I'll just pay it forward. So if you are an up and coming YouTuber or whatever and I'm passing through, hit me up and i uh, be happy to hang out. So I feel like that would be paying it forward. at a Texas picnic area, not even a rest area, although it was kind of considered a rest area, the blue sign on the freeway. If you can't tell, I'm absolutely exhausted. I've been driving since, um, I don't know, 3.30, 4 p.m., and it's now like midnight, so it's been a pretty solid day on the road. I only stopped for a very mediocre what a burger. I don't know why you Texas people are in love with those things. <laughs> in and out all the way, baby. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the road tomorrow. If I wake up. <laughs>